To the average person, a spider's web looks very weak and flimsy, as well as perhaps a little creepy. With the greatest of ease, a person can destroy a web, especially if he's not scared of spiders. So why are scientists so awestruck by the spider's silk webbing? Scientists are fascinated with spider silk because it has the amazing capacity to absorb a strong impact. Think about it. Spider silk is much, much smaller and lighter than the flies and grasshoppers that often fly full speed into a spider's web. Yet the web doesn't break. It stretches, but it doesn't break, at least not usually. Spider silk can stretch 30% farther than the stretchiest known nylon and 40% beyond its original length without breaking. Some spiders' webs are so strong, in fact, that they can even catch small birds, such as hummingbirds. Yes, some spiders will catch and even eat birds. Although it may not seem strong and tough from the vantage point of a human being who can easily tear down a spider's web, pound for pound, the silk from certain kinds of spiders is five times stronger than steel and is twice as strong as the material that currently makes up bulletproof vests. Due to its amazing strength and stretchiness, it's been said that you might be able to trap a jumbo jet with spider silk that is the thickness of a pencil. To top it all off, the silk from spiders is waterproof. Spider silk is made up of chains of amino acids, protein, an arrangement that is responsible for the silk's amazing strength. Can you imagine how useful it would be if we could produce our own spider silk? Since harvesting silk from spiders is not very practical, scientists have attempted to make artificial spider silk that could be used in anything from bridge cables to airbags and from non-tear sports jerseys to artificial tendons. We could make soft, lightweight, bulletproof vests for policemen, vests that would absorb more impact than current ones. How have scientists fared so far? Although they've made some progress, one scientist admitted that despite years of research, artificial webbing can't even come close to equaling the amazing qualities of spider-produced silk. Sadly, this same scientist believes that spiders just evolved the capacity to spin silk. Are we to believe that the mastermind behind the light, stretchy, shock-absorbing, tougher-than-steel, better-than-anything man-made spider webbing is undirected, accidental evolution? Common sense says no way. Obviously, if scientists must spend countless hours trying to design a way to reproduce spider silk, it's unreasonable to conclude that the natural silk which spiders make is a product of random mutations and millions of years. Spider webbing is God's wonder material. That is, the great architect designed these arachnids with the amazing ability to weave mighty webs, which in turn testify to the spider's almighty creator.